I saw on Twitter, this would be a good little thing to get into. I saw on Twitter, I think Jay Fresh, um, forgive me, I'm I'm not up to date on all of the analytics guys that put out charts and everything like that. Um, but long story short, as I was tagged to a thread where basically they're wondering, what did you do to Huberto? What happened to Huberto? And I would like to present as evidence all of the other years I was doing recaps except for last season where I just consistently and constantly bitched about how not just the overpassing, but the coasting. It, we're, it, I constantly would complain. I said that if he ever turned it on and he ever played with that edge, that he would be the best player on the team. And and we just – I felt, and a lot of us felt, but I'm the one that said it, so I'll take not credit for it. I'll take blame for it. I would consistently say – he just doesn't look like he's using his talent to the best of his ability. He can do more. He can he can do more. He's better than this. And, of course, I get killed for it. And then last year happened, and wouldn't you know it, I don't know. I keep saying it. Nobody really wants to touch it. But last year, Huberto was playing for his big contract. Last year, Huberto was playing for his big contract. And wouldn't you know it, the overwhelming majority of the season, he played with an edge that we hadn't seen. There wasn't any coasting around. The overpassing kind of stopped a little bit, too. He was definitely shooting more. He decided, I think I want to play PK. Okay. Last year's Jonathan Huberto was a completely different animal than we saw the rest of his career. So what happens? The entire league is paying attention to the Panthers last season because we were so damn good. And people think that player that they saw last year is Jonathan Huberto. And not, it's not. Now I'm not saying Huberto's not a very good player, but Jonathan Huberto, except for last season, was a was a player that, in my opinion, consistently did not max out his potential and his ability. Some guys, you know, like Orion Lomber, he is getting 150% of his talent level out there on the ice because he works so hard every shift. He's out there like a madman every shift that good things happen to him that probably are probably really not in his wheelhouse. They're not in his, his talent level. You see what I'm saying? But he's working so hard. He's making things happen that are above his talent level. With Huberto, the opposite has been true with the exception of last season. He would have games. And he would have two or three games in a row where that edge would turn on and he looks angry and frustrated, engaged, emotional, and he'd look fantastic. And then all of a sudden, you know, a Tuesday night against Buffalo, no no disrespect to the Buffalo fans now, but you guys won't, weren't always good. Tuesday night against Buffalo, in Buffalo, it's cold outside, and you turn on the game and there's the first quarter. And you see Huberto coasting here, coasting there, a lazy cross ice pass here, should have shot the puck here, instead waited and waited for somebody to come into the zone. Nobody ever really did, so he shot late. Little things, still getting goals, still getting points. The, the, the big numbers that everybody looked at, still, still getting, what, 75, 80 points, whatever it was, right? So when you rip the guy, you sound Cocoa Puffs. You sound crazy, right? We didn't see that last year. We didn't see it last year. And I'm just saying, I'm not trying to disrespect the kid. I, 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 he was a huge part of my Panthers for a long time. But this is, this is not new. This is not hindsight for me. Every single year, I would say the same thing. He's coasting. I wish this kid would turn it on and just stay on because I believe he's the best player on the team, and it would, it would, it would stand out. It would show the difference between how he's been playing, where he's maybe giving 85%, and if he ever just came to the rink every day and gave 100 110% on ice. And last year, that's what we saw. And now he's got his contract. And I'm not saying he's dogging it. I'm not saying he's dogging it. But last year he gave over and above his normal level. Like Matthew Kachuk, when he goes out there, 
you know, 99% of the time, he's like, he's going to be like a Tasmanian devil. He's a maniac out there on the ice most nights. You're not going to question his, his commitment, his effort level, okay? But with Huberto, except for last season, if you guys are, you know, what I'm seeing a lot of Calgary Flame fans complaining about, that's him. That's him. Last year was the enigma. Last year was the outlier. Okay, so he's not purposefully like playing poorly. He's not got a bad attitude where he's saying, oh, I got traded. Oh, it's cold. So I'm not going to play. No, this is the dude. This is the dude that we had all the other years, except for the year where he was playing for a contract. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And hey, look, I'm not even. I'm not throwing shade at Flames fans. I mean, you guys are pretty much in the same position we are, like scratching your head going, wait a minute. I thought we was like guaranteed top three. What's what's going on here, right? I haven't looked at the standings recently, but basically both fan bases are a little perplexed at this point. There's, the point here is that and this is specifically for Flames fans. It's not going to change. There's, there's no magic bullet there's nothing that's going to change that's going to bring him back to the level that he was with the Panthers last year. This is the guy. My apologies. Okay. I, I said it for six, se five seasons because last year was six. This is seven. So the other five, I bitched about Huberto the same way you guys are bitching about him now. Nobody want to hear nothing from me because I'm just a crabby old man yelling at the cloud. I get it but it is what it is. So thanks for Kachuk.